Hello, hello, Yarny friends. Rachel here again. I am doing a video just to kind of show you um, what I have been working on uh, since I got those triple blankets done. So um, not a lot of content for today's video. I've been kind of uh, busy doing a lot of back and forth uh, with appointments this week specifically uh, with my weight loss surgery. If you're interested in following that journey, go ahead and check out my other channel, Rachel's Bariatric Journey. Um, so that's been keeping me kind of busy, but I have been working on um, a new project and I will show you what that looks like. So uh, in one of the blankets that I did, I did solid and windowpane granny squares together um, in kind of a checkerboard pattern and I really fell in love with the windowpane granny square uh, and I decided that I wanted to make myself a shirt out of windowpane granny square something very light open and breezy that can easily be thrown over a tank top for the summer months um, so I'll show you kind of my progress on that and uh, what that looks like so I'm using a uh, Lion Brand Kubu Yarn, which is a cotton and bamboo blend. Here is what I have so far. It's just a big square of squares. Then you can see how that window pane granny square looks. Um, I really love the feel of this yarn. Um, if you've never felt it before, it is extremely soft. I love the softness of Kubu yarn. Um, it is technically, I believe, a four weight, but it feels to me more like a three weight. It, it's one of those that's kind of in between. Um, it's definitely on a light end of a four weight. Um, you can see the, the strand here, if you're interested. I have so many tails. There's my strand there. Um, the main complaint that people have with Kubu yarn is that it is splitty and I can attest to the fact that that is true. This yarn is extremely splitty, which is a pain, but if you're willing to put up with it, it is makes for a really beautiful, super duper soft, really lovely textured um, item. So uh, my idea with this uh, was to make like an oversized kind of like square shaped shirt um, and uh, to just kind of have it be something big and drapey um, and I was actually planning on using the Kubu yarn because I tested the Kubu yarn in my um, adding knitting machine and planning on making like a front panel and a back panel and then using my knitting machine to make panels um, for the sides it it makes more sense in my head um, <laughs> that was my original plan and I'm kind of slightly rethinking it uh, I might do the entire thing just in granny squares instead of doing the panels down the sides uh, mainly because they would just be there not necessarily to enhance the look of the garment but just to speed up my production time um, so yeah I have to have a thing through about that Hold on, I'm getting a notification from my camera saying that there's an issue. Let me check this a second. Okay, all should be good with the camera once again. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my thought process with this. And um, the joining that I'm doing on my squares is just a slip stitch in the back loops. Um, and it makes those joins... Uh, nice and flat and because this yarn is so drapey it kind of in encourages those seams to lay flat as well so that's what I have um, I'm trying to I, I, I want to keep working on this and I'm planning on keeping on working on this I'm just kind of trying to think through how far along I'm going to get with it and what size I'm actually going to make it because I want it to be something that I can wear for a very long time. And if I make it to the size that I am now, I'm not going to be this size next year. And so I might just use up all the yarn that I have making a bunch of granny squares and then kind of tuck them away and put them in storage and pull this project back out at the start of next summer. Uh, hopefully by that point I will be down um, 
a hundred plus pounds and so I will be able to kind of evaluate what size I actually want to make this garment. I started thinking through this, you know, not really having significant weight loss in mind. Um, and I, I, you guys will have noticed by now that I generally don't make garments. Um, one of the main reasons why I don't make garments is because I'm such a big person. It takes so long to make a garment that I just haven't done it. So that's actually something that I'm really looking forward to um, about what's coming up in the future for me is that ability to knock out more garments for myself and make more wearable items that I love uh, and uh, not have that feeling of being overwhelmed because you get started on a garment and you just feel like you're slogging. Like, I don't know what the mental difference is to me of why I can do an afghan, but not a garment. Like, <laughs> a, a garment just feels like climbing Mount Everest, and doing an afghan means like, feels like, you know, going up a walk a big hill. I, <laughs> I don't know why there's a difference in my brain, but it's there. So, uh, this might be a great project just to keep my hands busy. Granny squares are super great like that. They're very simple to just, you know, it takes me less than an hour to do a few granny squares. You know, I got a few granny squares and you're still making progress, but it doesn't like, you don't have to haul this big thing with you and everything else. You just take your little ball of yarn, your crochet hook, stitch up a granny square while you're sitting. So I think that's going to be kind of my take along project for a while. And then I'll keep the squares and kind of look to assemble it, uh, the beginning of next summer. That's my thought. But in the meantime, I still have that temperature blanket that I'm working on for my daughter Wilhelmina. Uh, I need to keep working on that. But other than that, those are kind of like my two projects right now. And I'm actually going on uh, vacation. On, we're leaving on the 11th. And um, I'm trying to think through what to take with for vacation. Because, yeah, I can sit and just do little granny squares the whole trip, which is fine. Uh, but I want to do something, you know, that I'm a little bit more, I don't know, motivated with? A little more in love with? Something that has a closer finish date? Like something that I can, you know, maybe not get the entire thing done while I'm on vacation, but, you know, make a good amount of progress on. Uh, which I'm taking the temperature blanket for that reason. But at the same time, I want something that's kind of just more like a passion project, something that I'm really excited about. So if you have things in your mind like, oh, I, you should try this or you should, you know, check out this new technique or maybe you should turn something into like this. And I don't I don't know. Give me suggestions in the comments, guys. I'm kind of blanking on what to make. I haven't made anything in a circular pattern in quite a while, so I could do a circular pattern. I thought about making myself a sun hat, but I generally don't like working with, and with hats, I would want a stiffer yarn, um, like with a natural fiber and, or even possibly just hemp. Um, but that just, it's very irritating to my hands to work with. It makes my hands really sore. So at the same, it's like, I don't know, maybe a sun hat's not the right idea. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. Tell me what you think I should make while I'm on vacation. Uh, we're going up to uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, and it's the same place that I've been going every year since I was uh, a newborn baby. I love that place. And so it's going to be a lot of sitting on a lake, uh, watching the kids play while I have yarn in hand and just sit and stitch. So I'll have lots of time to crochet. And I need to think through <laughs> what I want to do with that time. So, um, yeah, I think that's probably about it. Not a lot of yarny content today. I was thinking about going back to, I don't know if you ever saw that video, but I will, I'll put it up in the cards and I'll put it in the description. Uh, that shop along that I did to the craft outlet. Um, I was thinking about going back there again and doing another one there because they have uh, discounted yarns, uh, like fancy yarns. Uh, so I was thinking about going back there cause they, I mean, the stuff that they have changes weekly, uh, and just checking to see what they have and everything else. Maybe, maybe some inspiration will, will just arrive if I see some pretty yarns sitting there 
It's just, I want to make summery things and it's not, I never really feel like it's easy for me to make summery things. I want, I don't know, that's the, if I were to say that there was some sort of limitation uh, to crochet or knit or yarn crafts in general, it's kind of that feeling like what you create has to be for cooler weather, um, which is not necessarily the case, but at the same time, uh, creating things for hot weather, you're usually using a thinner yarn or um, a cotton yarn both of which I can struggle with sometimes because of the issues that I have with my hands. So I want to make all the light and breezy, beautiful things, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah. What are you guys working on? Do you have any summer projects that you really love? Like what's okay. Here's a question for you. Answer me in the comments on this. What is your go to summer project? Knit or crochet don't matter. What is your go-to summer project? What do you love to work on in the summertime? Let me know. And you never know. You just might, <laughs> you might just inspire me to make something. Um, I think that that's probably about it. Sorry, this wasn't a very big look at all of my wonderful things kind of a kind of a, a video. I feel like I just kind of got through such a big project with those three blankets and I'm kind of like, oh, now I can kind of figure out what's next and kind of think it through. And I don't know, I feel like some of that pressure is off uh, to, to really evaluate what I want to be working on right now. So, all right, I think that's it. Uh, there is a new video up on my other channel. I went to the beach uh, this past weekend over Memorial Day and kind of reflected on what that is like for me as a plus size woman to go to the beach. Uh, if you are interested in watching that video, um, a lot of what I'm putting out on my other channel, Rachel's Bariatric Journey, is going to be a lot more personal, a lot more... Um, just about my life and my emotions and about mentally processing through uh, something significant like weight loss surgery and um, everything that comes with that. So if you're interested <laughs> in that, go check that out. If you're not and you just want to see the be beautiful yarn, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Um, but uh, that is kind of what I'm going through. I also am going to be posting another video um, over on the other channel uh, tomorrow or the day after uh, just talking about because I just had a um, appointment with my behaviorist as well so got my nutritionist appointment done behaviorist appointment done and things are progressing there so anyways I think that that's it thanks for hanging out with me Arnie friends I'm so glad you're here I hope that the start of your summer is going well my kids are done with school the end of this week. I am both excited and anxious about it. I'm really excited to not have to get up every single morning and do the rush out the door. But I'm also like, oh, all summer long with these children. Um, and that doesn't mean that I don't love them, but when we're in our routines, they function so much better when with like the loose scheduling of summer, there tends to be more conflicts and more stress because they function better on routine. So I got to figure out how to help keep them in some of those routines so we don't lose all of our kind of like peaceful consistency through the summer. So um, I'm excited for that, though. It'll be good to be able to spend more time, um, especially with my oldest right now. She's the only one who goes five days a week. So that'll change in the fall. In the fall, I'm going to have my oldest five days a week. My second born is going to be in kindergarten, so she's going to be five days a week, but it'll be half days. And then my third born is going to be starting preschool three days a week. So three days a week, I'm only going to have one kiddo at home. It feels very strange. Very strange. But that is months away. We have the whole summer to enjoy, which I'm very thankful for. So... All right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.